Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Smart Art tutorial series, you will understand a few useful aspects of Smart Art animation. While animation effects work the same whether it is a diagram made using Smart Art or whether it is made using Auto Shapes, the key there are some key differences in terms of the effect options of Smart Art animation. You will learn a lot more about them as we move forward in this tutorial. First, we will convert this text-based slide into this interesting looking three-phase process diagram using SmartArt. Once we create the diagram, we will apply SmartArt animation and explore different effect options. First, let us go to the text-based slide. To convert this text-based slide into a smart art diagram, the first step is to select all the text, right-click and go to convert to smart art option. As always, it is a good idea to ignore all these default options and go to more smart art graphics. And since this is a process we are trying to illustrate, we will search for options under process. And since we want a diagram that shows three faces, which has level one text, and level 2 text. This diagram which is about accent process seems to work fine. So we'll press OK. Now either you can work with the diagram the way it looks or you can choose to have this uh, shapes I mean increase in size or whatever. Let us work with the default options. Now we will try to make this diagram look a little more uh, interesting. So I'm going to select this diagram. Go to change colors and apply some color theme and maybe apply this smart art style to make the diagram look interesting. Now we got the basic diagram ready. Let us apply custom animation to this diagram. I have selected the entire diagram now and I will go to animations option. The animation that I would like to have, the entrance effect I would like to have is a simple wipe animation and I want all the wipe to happen from top. So this is the basic animation I want to apply for all the objects. Now if you go under effect options you will see that there are a number of options here which makes it easy for you to explain these various faces clearly to your audience. Now we will try to understand each one of these options and for that it is a good idea to open the animation pane so you can understand the difference very clearly. By default the animation that is applied usually applies as one object. What we mean by applying the animation as one object is smart art, this entire smart art diagram is seen as one object. So the wipe animation applies to the entire object. So let us say play from so you can see that the wipe animation moves from top to down. The next option is all at once. While as one object and all at once seem to apply seem to appear the same there is a significant difference in terms of how the animation is applied. While the previous one has only one object here, here you can see that all the objects here have been applied the animation. So you can either work with all of them appear appearing at the same time or if you choose to have the animation appear one after another, you can choose them all and go to after previous and when you do that you can actually see that these this animation appears one after another. So all at once actually means the animation is applied to all the objects just that the starting point for the animation remains the same for all the objects. Okay, now we have learned the first two types of effect options. Let us try to learn the third type which is about one by one. One by one animation animates each group in succession and here a group means the first level and second, second level text taken together. In this case the title and the body content of this group uh, of here 
is seen as one group and therefore the animation happens one group after another the next type is level at once what we mean by level at once is first you will have the animation applied to level 1 text and then animation is applied to level 2 text so if i were to go to slide show option you can see that the wipe effect has been applied to just the titles here and then when we press click you can see the body content for each of those titles coming at once so this is level at once the next one is level 1 by 1 here while each level appears in succession the objects within the level are animated one at a time let us go to slide show where you can see the difference here the first phase is shown and then the second phase and then the third phase and once you've finished explaining the titles then each of those titles is explained on successive clicks so that is how this option works right now there is another thing that i want you to uh, observe and note and that is you don't have to settle for one type of animation for all the objects if you want to have different type of animation a different orientation of the animation you can always do that for example let us say i want this diagnosis phase experimentation phase and resolution phase appearing with wipe from bottom whereas the body content needs to wipe from top you can achieve that first you go here and you can see when you read the elements here you can understand that each of these uh, titles gives you what exactly is being animated so here this one shows diagnosis phase so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to hold my control tab and then i move to the next one which is about the experimentation phase and then i go into the resolution phase now all three are selected and for these three objects i am going to have the wipe happening from bottom now when you see that this one happens from bottom whereas the body content happens from the top so you have that control available in smart art animation there are a few things which you cannot do with smart art animation which you could have done using just the auto shapes and the differences are when you have level 2 text here with multiple bullets there is no way you can have animation applied to these bullets so you can never have these bullet points appearing one after another so that is one limitation with smart art animation the second limitation is once you have the order chosen using these you will never be able to move and rearrange the order of animation so that is the second limitation as long as you are aware of these limitations you can always work with them you can always you always have the option of uh, converting any smart art into shapes and then applying animation the way you want so these are the things that i want you to note while you apply smart art animation for your diagrams coming to think of three phase process it is a very common diagram used in business presentations i wish to show you some useful variations of three phase process diagrams taken from our powerpoint ceo packs this is one of those examples you can see here the three phases are given a very interesting uh, look using these glossy balls Here is another variation of a three step process where we have tried to add a silhouette and add a bit of human touch to the diagram and this is another variation of three phases diagram where we used a different type of a glossy ball to make the diagram look attractive If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics yourself You can always go for off the shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2. The two CEO packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and business presenters. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. 
hope you liked our tutorial on smart art animation if you want to learn more such tutorials please visit us at presentationprocess.com there are more than 500 plus original articles and tutorials to help you improve your presentation skills and powerpoint skills thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting